What's up, everybody? This is Talking of Carl back with uh, the long awaited, uh, excuse me, Pokemon Legends Arceus. I just finished downloading, uh, ready to hop into it. Please, uh, uh, I know I, I rarely like, uh, like to put my display up like this, but I, you know, long since finished like the walkthrough for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond. Fire Emblem Three Houses, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Check out all those walkthroughs on my YouTube channel, uh, youtubecom Talkative Carl. Follow me in the links in the description for my other platforms uh, where I stream and uh, talk about movies, comics, uh, uh, TV shows, and anime, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, my little brother, you know pre-ordered his like uh a couple of days ago so he got to jump on it pretty early he got uh ashiwat as a starter and apparently i did not even notice that the final forms are completely different it was like uh, ashiwat's final form is like a darker water uh uh and decidui is like a fire something else but he doesn't look like a, a bow and arrow thing i was gonna choose rosalette you know i might as well go with uh cyndaquil because it's been a while since i played around with cyndaquil so and his final form is like a ghost fire kind of thing so i was like you know i'll go with the fire anyway uh without further ado let's hop in pokemon legends arcus <laughs> Unmute, unmute my TV. I was like downloading. All right. There you go. Now you can hear it. And also wrapped up uh, Halo Infinite. I gotta put the final video up on YouTube in a little bit. Hey. English. Yeah, man, auto saving is like a auto saving in fast travel is like video game uh, lifesavers, you know? Welcome to my where, welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. What is thy name? Carl, soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee, a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Carl, seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Let's be honest, like, has anybody really completed any kind of Pokedex entries since the Pokemon games started? I mean, you know, I think a few people, maybe, just like the, maybe like a very 1-2% of uh, the people who actually completed a Pokedex, you know, doing like, if you bought like, both games, like you bought Pokemon Red and Blue, and you traded amongst yourself and completed it that way. But, you know, that's, you know, I doubt that I'll be completing any entry ever. I think I got close one time. 
but I didn't have anybody to trade with. My phone! My smartphone, I can't live without it. I'm a Gen Z, I need my phone. Call God with this. Don't make me regret this. Wake up. Ooh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my boy? What the fuck is that on your head? You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. Falling from the sky, you, you, you don't think that's knowing I be don't call the effing police? But well, thank goodness you seem unharmed. I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come now, who in the world does that? I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. It's pretty much like Pokemon, uh, what was that Zelda game? Breath of the Wild. It's like, it's pretty much Pokemon Breath of the Wild. It's from demos, just obvious. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? So you don't know anyone here, and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you sure you, are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? I don't know what to do. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Oh my, I completely forgot. I had just caught up to these three runaway Pokemon when, when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew, it's almost as if they knew you appear here. Ah, but you don't even know what a Pokemon is. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have some common ground, eh? It's weird, it's like, you know, in the past few Pokemon games that's been updated into the Nintendo Switch, uh, Nintendo or the Pokemon company don't bother to like hire any kind of voice actors or these characters at all. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me, mysterious creatures that they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? Oh, so you're called Carl. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Livington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of, understanding of Pokemon. Are you the very first, Professor? Yes. 
Oh, blast him. Bother. My jolly Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. Wait. But I do like the look of this, though. It's, it's even like uh it's like a step up from you in sword and shields uh uh play style there's a glowing beeping object over there we're in the past and you got like some piece of technology that isn't supposed to be in a past that's dangerous. You found something that resembles a phone. Uh, you know, other people don't, won't, won't know what a phone is. Uh, excuse me, I had to scratch my back for a second. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Oh, look. Crouch. The B button is crouched. Ah, alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs that way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I love to give you a I love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or erect. I want to choose Cyndaquil because it's been a long time since I had any Johto Pokemon and I love the Johto region. It's my, f you know, favorite region next to Kanto and Hoenn. The Pokemon near the pond is Asuat. Asuat naps while floating on the water and it can battle and it can battle using the shell-like object on his belly. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How do you go about catching Pokemon? Here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. Oh, steampunk Pokeball. 50 Pokeballs, wow. Uh, a mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Yep, Pokemon Breath of the Wild, pretty much. Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be thorough. Now, I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at Pokemon and... Why? That Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the Pokeball. Comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. 
Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, then let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own desired lack of skill in this area. Okay. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button. Uh, to ready a Pokeball and take aim, then you keep, you keep, you can't keep moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw the Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you are ready a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B to cancel the throw. Okay. Tender Quill. Oh, wonderful. You caught a Pokemon. It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon. Catching business. Pokemon catching business, Carl. Jolly useful, jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling's runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the, slight, in the slightest. Oh, guess the other three. Gotcha. I can hardly believe it, Carl. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind, catch them. Bravo, indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharp. Let's wrap this up sharpest, shall we? What kind of sentence is that? Hashiwat. What the hell? Ah oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, oh boy. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught here only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you come falling. But I must say, Carl, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. Was it a good idea to show somebody in the past a phone? You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field called such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skills of po Not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, 
a Pokemon. Enter you, a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. Could be a serial killer for all you know. We've a, we've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. You know, can you be kind of messed up if like, if they uh, do like a Pokemon uh, show or movie really uh, dark where it's like a serial killer with a Pokemon and like he kind of you know this not dismember but dismembers them and like re like has a ma champ and like you know you know takes you know each arm and increase and, and reattach like some kind of cybernetic arm to make it more powerful -er. it's just really effed up First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. And I guess Pokemon Gems wouldn't have been invented yet either in this timeline. Wasn't there like a dark cloud over a mountain in Breath of the Wild? Because I haven't played that. But the clips I saw, I could have sworn there was something like over a mountain. Oh, so we're in Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, Mr. Good Guardsman. Oh, no, I thought it was the guard. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsman. This young man was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon. So I hope you forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. No words. Yeah, guards, but well, guards with no weapons. I guess they have Pokeballs on the on their sides. The only one. I guess in like the early dates of Pokemon, uh, Pokemon catching. They haven't like uh, gone to the point where like you can carry six on your belt instead of just one. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure like my character can do it, but you know. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village has come a long ways thanks to the fine people. I understand you must go be more attack curious. Konala Avenue. It reminds me of like some um, uh, one of the other Naruto games when you're just you know going about the world and people passing by and you hear like these speech bubbles not hear but see these speech bubbles it look like the the uh, Hukage's house what the heck so you got a com combination of Naruto, Ghost of Tsushima, Breath of the Wild, and Pokemon. My goodness. So what a combination. Oh, botheration. I almost forgotten. I need to go and report that what I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you wait for me at the canteen? Oh, it's got a cantina too. Like throw in some Star Wars while you're at it. It's just past this village here, then to the left. The wallflower is called. Your arc phone is beeping. This is God. Have you done your job yet? Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next.
Oh, the minus button to pull up your map. Okay. now aren't you awfully suspicious the wallflower is for galaxy team folk only we don't have seats for outsiders move along who are you i've never seen anyone dressed like you are what if you were attacked by a pokemon you'd be mint meat in those filthy clothes Flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you've met Professor Livington. He's a scholar from a faraway place. This Pokemon don't get away from him at times. At times, though, it might it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not so not long ago it had to take to my bed but the professor well I do wonder how long he'll last unfortunately unfortunately it's just as Akari says I'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put it mildly professor but everything will be quite all right now Carl here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Well, that, what's that look for? <laughs> like, like, what's that look for, bitch? Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Cian Celine's permission. Or whomever, I guess. I'll allow it. Captain Celine, with no eyebrows. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Server Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team's Server Corps. Oh, Team Galaxy, or Galactic, yeah. You may call me Celine. Professor Leviting has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you get plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I must appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? This actually would have been a cool like idea for a Pokemon movie. Just like the early days of Pokemon without any kind of like uh, beholding to certain parameter parameters we're used to. Or at least something like Detective Pikachu, you know? Benny, old chum. The, us the usual po potato mochi, if you please. But make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never fails to please. It was a dick to me earlier. Professor Leviton, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, uh, well, you know of that great hole in the sky. The one people call the Space Time Rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. So they knew to call it a Space Time Rift? They just couldn't call it like some dark clouds because 
they're in the past they don't know anything about like uh space and time like that you can't be serious come now i'm a scientist my job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena i concern myself only with facts now you already know there are many pokemon here in the isui region that there are that they are in the grass in forest by water or whatever they like our job as the survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are well we know this much pokemon are terrifying creatures it's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do but that's where Carl will come in he successfully caught three pokemon three of them in quick order you understand nobody in the galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that this means we can finally begin our pokemon research in earnest three we have a hard enough time catching even one when wild pokemon come after us ah well to be perfectly fair the pokemon that fled to the bait uh to the beach weren't on the attack but the key to catching pokemon is getting close enough to aim your pokeball well and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that i've seen like a recent video of a demo where like you know uh, i think it was game informer where somebody's out in the wild and pokemon actually hit you and do like some kind of damage to you like holy shit they like uh that, that's like uh they definitely um uh, uh did like a nice little twist to the game it's like yeah these suckers will kill you it's just like any wild animal almost any wild animal does the survey car really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi you know the slow progress on that pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge I'm sure we'll start to ring in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, Carl. I think if you make it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. That was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, you do remember that Carl has a trial to pass to join the server cores, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Carl's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Carl, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. I couldn't just shack up with the professor. It seems like, you know, everybody give me shit. But if you fail to pass the trial we put you we put you to tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Hardcore. Captain Selene's somewhat like Huisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stare in front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turn in for the night, eh? It's a good thing one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. A rift in the sky, people fall, falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. And just for today, I'm just going to be streaming uh, this and 
uh, wrapping up the solo mode in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. And, um, yeah. Um, but I will return to Pokemon Legends uh, probably tomorrow evening. Because I gotta get my hair done, you know, tomorrow afternoon. And don't know how long that's gonna take. The jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. Very rustic. Nice fire in the sunken hearth can keep the entire room heated. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out your survey work in the Husui region. Free them at any time. Simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Any tips for the team members? Don't wish your toils to be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button to open the menu, then scroll with the ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. This is also a normal save function you can use to help have your progress save automatically. Okay. Oh, it's rumbling in my own control. Gotta cut that off. The next day. Good morning, Carl. Are you up? Quite some lightning, quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it a y'all, our all. Take care of that. Do not need uh Can't do nothing but the rumble, I guess. This chest looks like you could store lots of items in it. Lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if it lands it, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to our, let's get to headquarters. Captain Cian is waiting. I guess I get my new attire from the uh, uh, the core, and I guess we. Don't have uh, to worry about like gym battles. This is completely a different take on Pokemon altogether. So it's kind of like, you know, if you remember like those Pokemon Ranger games back in the day, I never gotten it because it didn't appeal to me. But 
that's why I'm figuring this was it. Just like uh, me capturing and documenting Pokemon. So it's gonna mix with Pokemon Snap a little bit. The Silver Corps offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they, they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my po partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack, outnumbered? This is what happens when you go as go so far afield. But the Medical Corps will put you to rights. That man's with the security corps, and even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a, par without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Captain Cien, Carl is here. You may enter. Well, you know, if it's set in the past, I'm surprised there's like no other Pokemon games that kind of hint something like this, like the early days of uh, uh, Pokemon. Like, well, there's been documents about like ancient legendary Pokemon, but not like the early days of a uh, Pokemon uh, like civil civilization. Like, you know, like uh, kind of like, like the era of Ghost of Tsushima. Like, you know, it's like. 18th century Pokemon villages. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Field Lands and catching three different Pokemon species, uh, different species of Pokemon: Beedoff, Starly, and Sinks. And Shinx. Get the three Pokemon from the start. No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three po different Pokemon earlier only yesterday? My child should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating that, exaggerating things that is. The Galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our server course satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That satchel doesn't exactly match your uh, mode of dress. Akari, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Checking missions and uh, requests. Press Y button while consulting the map on your arc phone and can and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in your adventure while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon Carl, come with me for a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Livington? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply survive in the unforgiving land, Carl absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. Go on, Carl. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? What's oh, Cyndaquil? Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. 
Cyndaquil. I love Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil! And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude, at Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I tuck Cyndaquil back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. That's why it looks sad. You receive Cyndaquil. A word of advice, my boy. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. They look as if they're cheering on their friend Cyndaquil. Or perhaps they're or perhaps they're just that guest to help you with your trial. That could be that could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Carl fell out of the sky after all. Well not to worry you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. By the by, what species have Captain Cien charged you with catching? Well that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Field Lands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial then. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as if you've already seen. You have this trial cleared in no time. I guess you're finally ready. You'll have to leave the village for your trial. Turn left after you exit headquarters, then ahead, head for the gate. I gotta get like. Uh, Okay, Chink, Starly, and uh, Beat Off. Man, I, I hate saying that doggone Pokemon's name, Beat Off. This sounds dirty. Get up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm the character. I'm Velo of the Ginkgo Guild, the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your merchantile needs for in needs here in Hishui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Oh, that's certainly a tale I like to hear. Oh, and you've got a Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Why is it a surprise in you walking around with people with Pokeballs? Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I have our Pokemon stand out to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find! I've also heard about this child you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Togepi. Fight. 
doesn't have fire attacks yet. That's interesting. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. The move. It's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. But so few people have their own Pokemon. Only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help let me help our two battlers recover from their little experience. And to you, my sky fallen friend, I present some potions and thanks. Early potions. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you are successful on that trial of yours. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. That's really something. Not only you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to the Obsidian uh, Field Lands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, Make sure you use. Make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell, re, and tell rest the guardsmen, and tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. That way, someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your trial begins just a short way past that front gate. Your call, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. The trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Wow, that's quite a bit of ways, but not too shabby. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your child, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Beedoff, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Oh, well, you see, Captain Cien got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. That's our honest, that's our unsparring captain. But what help exactly can you offer out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to live a finger. Carl's talents are the real deal. You'll pass with fine colors, you see. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Well, I'm sure Carl will be fine. Let's begin the trial. I'll save and end the video after I completed this mission. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you meant to you're meant to catch all live here. Obsidian Field Lands. And along comes beat off. The key is to aim carefully. Not that you seem to need my advice. I'm just sharing what I know. Beat off has a mellow disposition. 
That means it tends not to run from people, so they'll be easy. Caught a beat off. Well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Starly. There's a Starly. They're skittish little things. They'll run if you if you're uh they'll run if startled. But you should be able to get close to them if you crouch. You'll be you'll be harder to spot. Gotcha. That's Starly Card as well. One more Pokemon to go. Additional leak. I forgot, there's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. As Captain Cien tells us, I have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Pokemon, have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. The captains are real expert on these things. Try throwing a Pokeball Try throwing your Pokemon's ball at rocks or trees like this one to have it investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, it'll bring it to you. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached our final hurdle, catching Shinx. Pretty dope. There, that's Shinx. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? I thought you might. I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any poke knock aside any ball you throw at them. Don't worry though, I'll teach you the trick to catching aggressive Pokemon. You've got to battle them. Once they're absorbed, absorbed from, once they're absorbed with battling, you can throw a Pokeball at them to try to catch them. By right now, you've got several Pokemon on your own, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it near a wild Pokemon you want to battle. I got no doubt you hold your own in battle. Uh, 
Uh, it's a nice little new uh, battle. Uh, uh, b battle mechanics is uh, very new. It's like I'm digging this. Got it. That's it, you caught Sync. You approached those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. You're like a gift the You're like a gift you're like a gift that the sky dropped to us. With with you at our side, I think the server core has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex as we've as we've been ordered. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. Oh, -hoo. I said you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Carl. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. With skills like with skills like yours, I suppose this this was a foregone conclusion. Now then, now then, we best report to Captain Cian. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? I mean, he's probably came from the present into the past. So like getting like a photograph of yourself in the past that could possibly alter the future in some kind of way. It was not a good idea. In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You could bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Come now, you two. Let's not d dilly dally. Captain CM awaits our report at headquarters. I bet Captain CM will be very pleased. I got like four Pokemon. It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a, I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get chains in the room you used last night, and you're to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our, to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. When you're ready to get into your uniform, make sure you make sure to use the mirror in your headquarters, in your quarters.
Oh, good, they all healed. Great. You need to change your eye color? I don't see why. Look how well our Severic Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see if you changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Now present yourself to the commander. Okay, I'm just going ahead and save right here. And I'm going to pop in my uh, Xbox Series S and play like at least an hour of uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and trying to see if I can wrap up the solo modes. So I will see you guys in a little bit.